And we are at the Colonial Theater having a conversation with Stephen Valenti of Stephen Valenti's Menswear in downtown Pittsfield, one of the finest businesses in downtown Pittsfield. And so, uh, Stephen, you know, you've been here for it's about, what, three decades uh, now in the downtown, and you've seen sort of this evolution in what people wear, what men wear, um, especially in the professional uh, setting. So uh, h- how has that evolved? Well, it started, uh, we've been in business 32 years. Thank you first for the kind words. Yeah. We've been in business 32 years, and around 1990, um, the ball game changed uh, the things happening on the West Coast, especially in the Silicon Valley, kind of uh, they kind of decided that uh, we don't need to wear a, a shirt and tie to work anymore. So they started to change the uh, apparel worn to work, uh, mostly denim or chambray shirts and and khaki pants or polos and an upscale pair of jeans, mm. and that kind of just made its way across the country and uh, one by one uh, major uh, employers started to rethink uh, their game as to what men and women were to wear to, to in the workplace instead of that full suit that was you know, everyone was accustomed to, to seeing um, you know I think in a lot of workplaces that's still pretty much uh, you know the standard but as you've seen, you know, that's dramatically shifted, even in the, in the larger corporate, especially in the tech world, like you suggested. Yeah, it started there and uh, um, and then slowly came across the country. I mean, I, I saw it at uh, GE Plastics uh, and KB Toy at the time. Those were two of my major uh, uh, um, uh, customers that mm-hmm. came in, Berkshire Life, the hospital, and the major people. Uh, businesses that employed quite a few people but uh, plastics was probably my number one uh, customer and with the changing of the guard that happened there uh, in the early 90s uh, the new regime decided to take more of a casual approach to to dress uh, mm-hmm. exit the necktie and blazer or suit and bring in the uh, the, the nicer sweater was worn and the nicer uh, sports shirt, but no tie. Uh, they did keep a suit of clothes in the closet in case somebody was coming from Europe. Hmm. So they, <laughs> they, they, they keep it in their closet, literally in their office. In their office, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and like, somebody, hold up, give me five minutes. <laughs> and somebody came from Asia or Europe or say England mm-hmm. where things didn't change and still haven't really changed. I mean, we're, we're really the only country that has really gotten casual with its its dress and business hmm. i mean um i don't do a lot of traveling but the few places i've been um overseas uh the look is still you know a suit a shirt and a tie surely is in, in england and surely is in in eastern europe uh it's it's just the way it is uh, there's a respect there's a feeling of uh, professionalism. Uh, there's a feeling of uh, the cutting edge, uh, in in the whole grand scheme of commerce. Uh, the the rest of the world feels that it's part of the whole feeling of it. I mean, when you get up in the morning and you you know you're putting on your shirt and your tie like like you and I do, you know you're starting to get, to get your head into the the ball game per se. Mm. I think it's almost like a sports figure here when they're putting on their shoulder pads and their their mm. uniform shirt and they're starting to think about getting in the game and I think in the men's industry that's for a long long time that was you know part of the feeling of getting into the game was getting dressed for the game mm. and we've taken really only in this country a very casual approach to you know how we show up at work and I don't know if it's been a good thing I, I, I really believe it's sort of hurt some of the the cutting edge or the edge in business from one company to another i think it's it's been a distraction somewhat hmm. um, and it's surely easier to dress dressy because when you and i wear a suit to work the pants match the jacket <laughs> know, so don't. that's easy <laughs> you have to think less you know right. it's, it's right. a lot it's easier right. that way. right it's very easy to dress <laughs> you up can focus and, on the important things. right and then dress down <laughs> i mean really the only creative part of it is what tie are we really going to wear with the suit yeah. But it's much easier to dress up when you dress casual in a work environment. Well, 
is this outfit too casual? Am I going to get, you know, called down because it's too casual or is it not casual enough? You know, it's a sports shirt. Okay. But a flannel shirt is a sports shirt. So is a flannel. Okay. Or, you know, uh, it's gets, it gets kind of muddy and, mm. uh, and women, it gets even harder. Mm. You know, I can, there are many examples where women showed up with things and were asked to go home and change. So Hmm. That's, I think it's just easier to dress up. And I, th- I really believe that there's a much more professional, in your appearance being professional, you convey to the person on the other side of the table, of, I think a feeling of confidence, of, of I made the right decision coming to see you. Um, I, I think you know as much as I hope you know about your field because that is portrayed. I mean, you... I, I, anyway, I believe that when yeah. I talk to someone, I think that is dressed more appropriate. I believe they're, and it might be false, but the feeling is there that they're much more professional and much more knowledgeable. Mm. Um, and, and and I think that's a good thing. And I think in the grand scheme of world commerce, I think you need an you need a, an edge today, and uh, and every little edge is is a great thing. Uh, you know, your 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 appearance is the first thing people see. So mm. to me, it's. It's very, very important and how you're perceived and and you continue from there. But if you kind of get off on the wrong foot, it's kind of hard to get back on the right foot when you've already established that those grounds. So, mm. um, I, I'm a little disappointed that we took it to the length that we did or the to the spot that we did. Um, some businesses have started to change mm. and go back to dressing um, four days a week, Friday casual. Uh, some have instituted dress for the whole week again some even local businesses have gone back to a shirt and tie mm-hmm. for all male employees uh, at least uh, upper management again uh, some banks are changing so um, I see it as a good thing to go back a little bit uh, not as a selfish like I'm going to sell more dress clothes <laughs> I just really think that we've let our guard down a little bit feels good to look good yeah, yeah I mean I, I know when I go out casually out to eat I try to dress like my wife dresses. My wife tends to dress nice. Uh, our wives tend to dress nice when they go out because to them it's like a date. Mm. And I think more men could take a hint from this and you know, buy a nice pair of dress pants and maybe a couple of nice long sleeve sports shirts that they, they keep for like, you know, date night, Saturday mm. night, date night, Friday night, whatever night it might be. But I think we you know, there are some men I think that could up their game a little bit and dress like their their women dress to go out. Make yeah. it a special night. Yeah. Keep the jeans home and the sneakers, and <laughs> you know, put on a nice pair of black dress slacks and a nice yeah. pair of shoes, and and uh, I think you'd be surprised at the uh, the outcome. Yeah, your lady will appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone. We're speaking with Stephen Valenti uh, in downtown Pittsfield, right here at the Colonial Theater. We're going to continue this conversation.